All right, so in the last video, we found that 1 over x minus 3 times uh, x minus 2 squared is equal to um, 1 over x minus 3 minus 1 over x minus 2 minus 1 over x minus 2 squared. And we did that using partial fractions. So now we're going to find the coefficient of x to the power of 8 and this term here. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to transform each of these parts into something that we know how to deal with in generating functions. And what we know in generating functions is 1 over 1 minus x. Now this we know how to deal with. So you want to transform each of these, so each of these roots into something that looks like this. And that's what we're going to do in this video. So, first you have 1 over x minus 3. So, you want to take a common factor of 3 from the denominator. And that will give you, if you take out a 1 over 3 as a common factor, 1 over 3, you'll be left with 1 over x over 3 minus 1. Again, they're exactly the same. If you multiply... 1 over 3 into this equation, you'll get um, x minus 3. Alright, so now you want to take a negative 1 so you can flip the 1 and the x minus 3. So here, we all we did was take out um, a 3 from denominator. Alright, so our next step is to um, take out a negative 1 from denominator, from denom. And that will give you a minus 1 over 3 times 1 over um, 1 minus x over 3. And this is something that we know how to deal with, because this is in the form of 1 over 1 minus x. Alright, so um, this, this was the first part. So for the second part, we have um, 1 over x minus 2. And we're going to do the exact same thing. So first we're going to take out a 2 from denominator. Take out a 2 from the denominator. That will give you a half. Actually here it's negative half. So you can have a positive half when you take out, sorry, a negative half times 1 over um, x minus x over 2 minus 1. And now you're going to take out negative 1. So take negative 1 from the denominator. And that will give you half times 1 over 1 minus x over 2. Now the reason why this is positive is because the negative 1 and the negative sign from the question here, so don't, don't forget to take this negative sign here, they cancel out together. And our last um, term is negative 1 over x minus 2 squared. Now this is a bit tricky because you want to take out a negative 2, so our first step is the same, so take out um, 2 from denominator but remember that we're squared so um, when you take out a 2 you're gonna have a half or a negative half to the power of 2 so everything in here is gonna be squared so this will be multiplied by 1 over um, x over 2 minus 1 all squared Alright, so now, the same thing, take out a 1, so take negative 1 out, and that will give you um, 1 over 4 times 1 over 1 minus x over 2, everything squared. Alright, so now we're done um, converting them into a generating function, and now we know how to deal with all these terms here, so we know that 
how to find the generating function for this and that and this. Alright, so the generating function, let's convert them now. So we have negative 1 over 3 times 1 over 1 minus x over 3. This can be written as um, negative 1 over 3, which is just a constant outside here, times the sum from i is equal to 0 to infinity of whatever number is down here. So in this case, it's x over 3 to the power of i. Then we have the same thing. So uh, we have a half times 1 over 1 minus x over 2. This will be written as half times, times the sum from i is equal to 0 to infinity of whatever number is here. In this case, it's x over 2 to the power of i. And our last example, or last case, is 1 over 4 times 1 over 1 minus x over 2 squared. Now, this one is a bit different. This, is, this can be written as 1 over 4 times 1 minus x over 2 to the power of negative 2. And this is a um, polynomial, I'm sorry, not a binomial theorem of a negative degree. So this will be written as, so this is equal to 1 over 4 times, um, now negative 2 choose 0, or I'll, I'll just write it in the summation form, so uh, you'll have, so this is equal to 1 over 4 times the sum from i is equal to 0 to infinity of negative 2 to the power of i, or sorry, negative 2 choose i, times x over 2 to the power of i. And this is how we find the generated function for a negative binomial theorem. Alright, so now if you group all three together, you should get um, Yeah, you should get this, plus that, plus this. And now you want to replace all the i's with 8. So in the first term, you're going to get uh, minus 1 over 3 times um, 1 over 3 to the power of 8. And I just replaced the x with a 1. Since we're finding the coefficient, um, x is, you just write 1 instead of them. So that was the first um the first part. The second part is half times uh, 1 over 2 to the power of 8. And the last part here, just put 8 instead of the i's. So 1 over 4 times negative 2 choose 8 and 1 over 2 to the power of 8. And this is our answer right here. So this is equal to the coefficient of x to the 8 and 1 over x minus 3 and x minus 2 squared. Alright, so um, I hope this video made some sense. Again, it's a bit tedious and needs a bit of practice, but it's not that hard. If you have any questions, please leave a message or a comment. Um, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.